Alright guys, welcome to Mi'kmaq's Golf. Um, if you're new to the channel, Mi'kmaq's Golf. Can't even say it myself. Uh, what are we all about, or what am I all about? Uh, basically, Mi'kmaq's Golf is about uh, the frustration. Frustration of conventional golf instruction. It's very one-dimensional. Um, every once in a while, a new guy or girl comes out with a new swing method or theory um, but I think it's more complex than that I firmly believe there's a swing for every individual and you need to go find it um, and you know if you're following a certain method then they ask you to do all these things and pay presto you'll end up with this fantastic swing well maybe you can't get into those positions or they feel very unnatural to you or you've programmed things your whole life so you can't sequence it like that so you need to go find your deal and Mi'kmaq's Golf uh, helps you kind of uh, think outside the box, try different stuff to get you to uh, play your best and do best with um, your swing. All right, so enough of that. Uh, subject of today's video is passive hands. Okay, not many of you may be aware of this. Well, you might be aware of it, but of all the parts in your body, that are the most active or that you can control uh, the most, you have the most dexterity with, your hands, your fingers, okay? Uh, that separates us from a lot of other animals. We can use tools, we can do a lot of things with these. Also, your eyes. Okay, your eyes are incredible as well. They are incredibly sophisticated and they're moving all the time, focusing, doing crazy stuff. But let's focus on the hands. Um, we do everything, we write, we drive, we hammer, we do everything with these hands. And our brain has learnt that these are the best things to use, but not necessarily in a golf swing. And what I be mean by that, it, it's good to have educated hands in a golf swing, to know where the face of the club is. But overactive hands are the cause of all kinds of really bad swing flaws. And the key really in golf is to keep your hands completely passive, completely out of it, almost until you get down to waist high. If you do anything with these hands on the way back, on the way down, um, before you get down to here, you're kind of in trouble. In an ideal golf swing, these would just be two hinges that just naturally hinge at the top, and hinge under their own weight of the club head at the ball. That would be ideal. It's not always possible to do that, but that's what we're trying to achieve. So, um, in a golf swing, a million things are going on. It's very difficult to concentrate on one part of the body. But I'll give you a tip. If you go back to a video I made really, really early on, I think it was titled Pain is Your Friend or something like that. It's a little tip that will get you to be able to concentrate on one part of the body, okay? If you exert a tiny bit of pain in one area of the body, just by pinching the skin or something, it makes your brain very, very, very conscious of that area. And that's one way, even with this little devil of a ball on the ground, of keeping your mind focused on uh, one part of the body. So if I have, let's say, a couple of little things pinching my hands, or you know sometimes when you tie an elastic around your hand too tight, it creates that kind of sensation of pinching. Then I can really focus on what the hands are doing and try not to use them. I can be really conscious of my hands and of not using them too early in the swing. That's it, it's as simple as that. Use my little tip, a little video uh, I made over a year ago now, pain is your friend, or come up with your own little uh, way of focusing purely on your hands and making sure they stay passive. You need to learn to do that, okay? They're used to wanting to dominate everything because these, these is what we use tools with and the club is no different. So take these guys out of the equation. All right, hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you again soon with another one. Uh, let me know what you think about it. Please subscribe to the channel.
and um, give us a thumbs up. That always helps. Uh, yeah. Um, like I said, leave us some comments and let me know what you think if you've had any success with that. All right, catch you later. Bye.